Hi, this is the Varfi and Scrappy Mania. Today I'm going to create another layout, and I really don't have a sketch for this. I just know that I want to use some of my scrap papers. I want to use these flowers. I have two pictures of my daughter and my son, and I want to use these in this layout. I also want to use some of my stamps. So I already used some of the, this is the Martha Stewart um, stamp, and it has butterflies and roses and then I bought this other one there's some sayings in here that I might use some old um, Heidi Swap sayings that says love cherish family and then these are another um, stamp that I bought I might be using these and then this is another pair of stamps that I'm, I bought at Clarence at Marshall some time ago and I want to use these stamps as well maybe maybe not so I'm going to maybe try to use some of this stamp. These alphabet, uh, leftover alphabets that I really want to use up. So I'm going to see if I can use this in my layout. And a lot of this is leftover embellishments. So I have some tags here or some um, tabs that I stamped and I punched out using a tab punch and I also have here some journaling a little um, watch and then these are my colors so these are leftover colors so I'm going to start with a base of cream color cardstock and I already stamped some of the um, embellishments so I'm going to cut these out and then I'm going to be using these papers um, and I might use this one for matting my pictures and then I, I think I'm going to create layers with some of these pages, papers and I'm also going to use some homemade glimmer mist just want to use some of this here and some of my watercolors so I have them here, my watercolor inks so I'm going to go ahead and get started and I'm going to speed up the video and I'll and start on my project. I'm going to start coloring my, um, my stamps and as you can see they're not really, I'm not being careful to stay within the line. And the next thing I want to do is I want to give, a little, give it a little sparkle and sheen. So I'm brushing on a glaze medium wick glue wick glitter kind of mixture that I created on, on my own a homemade mixture and it's kind of like a glitter glam is what I created there and see how it kind of sparkles and then when you dry it it's it actually keeps the shine so it looks very nice and as you can see it doesn't look much now but at the end you'll see that it, once you cut it out it's going to look very very good and I'm not going to show you I'm not going to um, show you how to cut it out in this video I just cut it out off camera but you'll see the embellishments at the end of the pay, of the video so now I'm going to take a, a cream color cardstock and I'm going to start misting it with my um, homemade glimmer mist that I create and as you can see the colors are very intense when you first place them but as you dry them, they kind of lighten up and it starts looking a little better. And the reason why I want to put one layer of color is because I'm going to use some a template and I'm going to use a gloss gel medium with the template. And I wanted some color because after I put the gel medium and I let it dry, I'm going to come back and put another layer of different color mist and also distressing ink. So um, it's going to look kind of subdued. So you're going to see the chevron is going to be subdued, and it's not going to um, it's it's not going to stand out as drastically as if I would have left it with if I would have done this technique first and then started glimmer misting. You really see the chevron. They're more dramatic that way. So now. Um, I'm going to let this dry overnight and see how it has that nice little sheen. So now notice the chevron once I glimmer, do a second layer of glimmer mist, it really stands out. 
and that's why I wanted to put a, la one, a layer first of color so that way it wouldn't stand out as much. So now I'm going over it with um, faded blue jeans and I'm just going to go through all the edges and then I'm going to blend in some fire brick distressing ink and I'm just making sure that I clean up any distressing ink from my chevrons and now I'm going to iron it. This is a craft iron that I use for for when I for my paper. And then the wood that the the ironing board that you see there is just made out of wood batting and some um and some cloth. And that's how I made that ironing board. So now I'm just going to mat my pictures and I decided to use this yellow color to mat it cuz it'll go with it goes with the yellow color of my son's um, raincoat and that's why I decided to use that one. So now I'm just cutting a lot of the veneers. I end up not using that white star color because it didn't really, it, it was just too, too, too much and I didn't like the look so I decided to use red, red instead. So it, it's yellow, blue, and red. And then um, when I started putting my layers it I, I decided to put another base cardstock and I um, I distressed the edges or actually I put distressing ink at the edge on the edges and it's antique paper so that way um, it 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 I didn't like how it looked without the distressing ink and then because I used distressing ink and I didn't wait to dry to let it dry it was not my paper wasn't sticking so I ended up having to use a stick glue to um, stick the paper and then as you can see there I had a quick cut die um, of a folder it was a die cut of a folder um, and that's what I cut out of my um, that grid paper and now I'm just placing flowers all over my design before I glue it down with my hot glue gun And I, I I like how those leaves, those long leaves, look on the page. So I'm going to put one in each side. And now I'm just placing my layers down with, with tape. And then I'm using some decorative tape that I bought at Michael's some time ago. And now I'm placing my folders. And then that, that other, I'm going to put a strip of tape. It has a saying on the end but at the once I start putting all my embellishments and my different flowers I end up covering up that whole thing that whole tape underneath so now I'm just placing some more flowers throughout and now I'm just gonna pretty soon start placing my embellishments that I painted and use some glimmer glam with and I'm putting some rhinestones in the middle of my flowers and see I, I learned this technique of using wax paper with my t um, letter stickers so that way I can put them and move them around the page before I put them down and I learned this technique from YouTube, Mercy Tiara, uh, Mercy Tiara, and I'll put her link at the bottom of my description. Okay, so I ran out of tape, but here's the finished layout. So as you can see here, I put the hourglass right here, put some more butterflies, some more flowers, then put my, um, my bird there the title guns and roses then I'll put my date I'm going to put some journaling on the side here and some more journaling here and this is my page so this is basically um, a page made from scratch just using cardstock some glimmer mist some um, paint some glazing paint and that's it so uh, let me get using this gloss 
gel medium and a template like this. I created that um, background layer. So I hope you like it and thank you for watching. Bye.